Hello, in today's video, I'll take you to a local charity thrift store and at the end of the video, I'll show you my thrift haul. Here we go. This is a charity thrift store called Bethesda Thrift and this shop always consistently has really nice bags. So I always like to check it to see if there's anything for my personal use. I really like this one. I know it's funky. I like funky bags though. And it has like a beaded handle. I thought it was kind of neat. I thought this one was pretty. I was really struggling to see the prices with one hand while I was filming. But I thought the colors were a little too bright. I like to go a little more neutral because I don't like to have to switch my bag with every outfit. I thought this was a fun one, maybe for going out, you know, back in the day when we used to go places. <laughs> Not practical for everyday use, but cute for going out. And this one caught my eye. I thought this one might be cute for the summertime months. I also always check where they have their wallets. This was not vintage, but sometimes I've found vintage clutches here, which sell well. If you like thrifting and thrift haul videos, I would love it if you'd hit subscribe and ring that little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video. This is their crafting aisle. And sometimes their prices can be a little bit high, but sometimes you can get a good deal, especially on crafting things, they will bag things. Sometimes the bag prices are silly, but sometimes you can get, you know, a good deal on a bag of stuff. Sometimes they have fun vintage kitchen utensils, but I didn't really see anything on this day. They also often have a lot of nice flatware. I've bought that here before. I thought this was kind of cool. You know, I just like to get these old utensils and then stick them in a crock and I don't know, the handles just look kind of cool in your decor. These confused me because they say crystal on the bottom, but they really felt like lightweight plastic. I was, I did not understand what was happening. So I don't know. I don't know what those stickers are all about. And this tends to happen to me. I just bought this at Goodwill the other day for like 99 cents. And since I bought that one, I found two others. I didn't buy the others because I don't need two more, but it's just strange how you like see one thing and then you see more of that thing. That has been happening a lot to me lately. I like this little crock. I don't know what it's meant for, but it's the Longaberger pottery. I'm very drawn to the Longaberger pottery. So that's why I was checking this out. It's green, like hunter green. I'm not a huge fan of hunter green, but I did like it. I saw on someone's channel, she bought like geese like that. You see that? I think hers were ducks. You see that there behind the trivet that I'm showing you? She bought them and painted them and then did this treatment with like white wax. And she said she resells them really easily. What are your thoughts on that? Like, I don't know. I would never think to like do that, but 
she does it and said they sell for her. So I thought that was interesting. Here on the next shelf, there was a lot of these little creamers, which these white ones were really cute. I thought they were really adorable. And then there were others. There was, and they were only 99 cents a piece, which was a really good price. The rooster ones that I'm about to show you, those are actually measuring cups. They had them priced really high. They've been here for weeks. They were actually a set that they had priced together. And I guess they decided to split it up to see if they could sell them. But there was just a lot of cutie little personal creamers to check out. So that was fun. The price on this was high. I can't remember. I think I'll show you in a second here. Yeah, $9.99. And it had a big crack across the bottom. But I wanted to show it to you because I just thought it was really cool. If it hadn't been cracked, I actually might have purchased it for my own personal use. I just really liked it for like my farmhouse style kitchen. I was trying to read what the bottom of this said. I could not make it out. But I don't know. Some kind of pottery. That was kind of neat. I thought these were really cool. I could not tell if they were the Heritage false graph. I just, I couldn't make out that stamp. I'm still having trouble even looking at it now. But I thought they were really nice. They were asking $4.99 a piece on them. And these dishes were just pretty enough to make me want to do yellow and blue in my kitchen. Like I don't do yellow anywhere in my house, but I thought those dishes were gorgeous. They're not vintage, but I did think they were really, really pretty. And these are actually my Gibson pattern, but they are the gigantic plate charger. I don't know even, is this meant to be a plate? It is so huge. Like if you could see it next to a regular dinner plate, you could better appreciate the size. So I wasn't sure. I have a few of those in that really huge size, but we really haven't used them yet. But I was, I was toying with the idea. That these lamps were so pretty there were two of them they actually say made in china so they're not that old but maybe from the 80s i don't know i thought they were gorgeous though this was a strange little lamp anybody know anything about it like i couldn't figure out why it had that long tube and the little tiny light bulb kind of weird never seen anything like that and there's the other of that pair of lamps that i just showed you and i always want to buy one of these old phones <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to play Office, and that's what it, like, harkens back to. I, like, want to have it on my desk and pretend. <laughs> I don't know. I just love the old phones. I love these old travel clocks. I have two that I found at the bin, so I like to get mine nice and cheap. <laughs> but I do like them, and I always notice them in stores. The prices on furniture pieces tend to be a little high at this store, more like a vintage shop. This is an old sewing box, which I thought was really cool. It was $19.99. I'll probably find it at a yard sale for five, but I did think it was cool. They have these antique baby buggies for $100 a piece. So clearly getting the antique price on that. Probably smarter if they like list it on Facebook Marketplace because I'm not sure that people coming into the thrift store are the same people that go into antique shops. I know I don't regularly shop at antique shops. I shop at thrift stores. So it just seems like a different market. I thought this was a really cute little cookbook. I was thinking about picking that up for my own personal use. And again, they had like expensive vintage items. This is $9, but I like to look at them. I don't ever buy these types of things from the store, but I like to look at what they have 
just to see because I like old things, <laughs> but I like my old things cheap. staying warm. It is Sunday. I'm recording this Sunday. <laughs> a little late. Um, I'm in the midst of my mom's crafting weekend. This time it's just me because I'm doing it at home. But uh, it, I decided to, so I think I, I mentioned in my Instagram, I mentioned in my previous video that a group of moms and I used to go to a cabin over this weekend, this President's weekend, and we couldn't do that this year. So I decided to do that here in my house. And it's super fun. So I'm going to get this recorded for you and then I'm going to go back to crafting. At the end of this video, I'm also going to open some friend mail. I'm sorry, I have gotten a little behind in opening friend mail and I, I kept wanting to do like a separate video and then I was going to do it in little bits and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to open it today and this way at the end of the haul, if you're not interested, you could just turn it off. So that's what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and show you what I got at the charity thrift store. It's called Bethesda Thrift. I said that in the video. Okay, so the first thing I got, I did get this funky bag. I know it's funky. I know, but I like it. <laughs> and you know what? I'm over 40. I do what I want. I just think it's really cute. I'm probably going to use it for springtime. It's, I've looked it up online. This company no longer exists. It's called, hmm, or I couldn't find them. Pritz.com was the name of where this was purchased. And I think it's really cute. So that's my funky bag. And then I also got this one. This one, I'm not sure. It's um, pins on. And so, oh, and that one was, I think these are both $6.99 a piece, which, you know, for this one was $7.99. Oh, and it has golf in the middle, in the center. Sorry, the, the lining is um, golf material, which is funny because I do not play golf, but... I really like it and it's a good size. And then this one is pins on and I thought that would be cute for the summer. It's kind of, kind of hippie, <laughs> hippie dippy. One of my former teachers would have said, but I think it's cute and I like it for summertime. So and if I don't use it, I'll be able to sell this. There is resale value to this one. I looked it up online. There's the tag. This one was $6.99. So those are my two bags. Okay. Then I also got, sorry, I didn't unwrap these yet. Let me unwrap and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm all unwrapped. I did get the two Gibson plates. They were $1.99 a piece. These are huge and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. I'm hoping that we use them, but I didn't wanna leave, they're so hard to find that I didn't wanna leave them behind. So if I don't use them, I can always resell them. Not too worried about it. They were $1.99 a piece, no big deal. And then I also got, sorry, everything looks cold because it was all out in my car and it's 20 below right now. So it's like I'm holding little ice cubes. But anyway, I did get the Longa Burger pottery, which is frosty. <laughs> uh, I, I just think it's really pretty. I don't do hunter green, but there's not a ton of it. I can use it for St. Patrick's Day because I do do a little display for St. Patrick's Day. It was $2.99. There is resale value to Longa Burger pottery. So when I get tired of it, I'll be able to resell it. But I just think it's really nice pottery. I have a great big platter too. That's the Longa Burger pottery. I'll probably put a candle in here. That would be my guess. And what else? Oh, and then I got, oh, this is so I got this little creamer. This I think is my favorite find from the haul. I'm going to use this in my little Irish display for St. Patrick's Day. I just do one little shelf of stuff um, and it was only 99 cents. And then I got these two. I'm going to keep one in my personal collection and I'm going to sell one. They were also 99 cents a piece. There's no marking on these, I don't think. No, I just think they're cute. I don't know if they're old. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess I should tell you, oh, there is a mark on this one. So I don't know anything about that mark, but there's a mark. So anyway, it's really cute. All right, so that is all that I got as far as my haul. It was a small haul. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open some friendly mail. Let me pause and get organized. Okay, I have a big one here. Oh. I think I know what this is. So I went to Bibles for Missions and 
uh, some of the volunteers knew I was there and they watched my video and then they sent me some of the things that I had seen, I think. So I think that's what this is here. Okay. So this says, hi, Nicole, I left the price tags on the items I bought for you. This way you can see Char's pricing. Okay. So Deb is the person, she works there and she originally reached out to me to invite me to come. So I did. And then when they saw my video, I guess they, you know, saw things that I was interested in or whatever. And she bought me some things and sent them to me. And I think there's one that they like just sent me to do a DIY on. So, cause I had mentioned it in the video. So filled with things. Okay. So let's start with the thing that I knew about. I knew this was coming. So I had commented there. I forget the price that they had on this, but um, it's cracked. And I was like, well, if it weren't cracked, I would buy it to do a DIY on. But I think they had like $5 on it or something. But now that it's, you know, I got it for free, <laughs> I can fill this with putty I, and sand it down and do the craft that I thought I wanted to do on it. It's really cute. It has chickens on the side. So this will probably um, stay. The, I'm going to take it off and just keep it black. I like that. But then I can fix the tray and paint it and... Um, make it look really cute. I'm probably gonna paint it white. So this will really stand out. I think that will be adorable. Thank you very much. Okay, so now on to the surprises that she sent me. I have no idea what these things are. <gasps> yes! Oh man, okay. This is a dish towel, but it's so cool. It has all the, like, it has all like, oof da, you know, things about Minnesota and Minneapolis. I love these. I see these all the time in like fancy shops in the area. They're usually really expensive. This is 100% cotton. So that's very cool. I love this. So cute. Let's see. It says, um, let's see. La Toile du Nord. That's French for Star of the North. And then it says hot dish. Northern Minnesota, Nordy Flakes, Ufta, Iron Range, that's up north. You Betcha, Lutefisk is a Lutheran thing that ladies make here. Moorhead, it's got Southern MN, Twinning is winning, Minneapolis St. Paul, the Juicy Lucy, that's a burger, that's a big deal here. It's filled with cheese and quite good. Birthplace of the Modern Toaster, I didn't know that. And the Mall of America, so this is very cool, I love it. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a coaster? I mean, a trivet? Oh, gorgeous. It's a strawberry trivet for my kitchen in the summertime. I love it. That's really pretty. I'll probably set that on my island. It has feet, which is really nice. It doesn't scratch surfaces. All right, and then there's another big one. Oh, and she wanted me to tell you the prices. So if this were sold in the shop, it would be $1.99. I don't know if I saw one on here. Oh, $1.99 on the dish. That is a very good price on that dish towel because they are not cheap when you see them in the boutique shop. Ooh. Ah, oh, nice. This is like a caddy. <laughs> really cool. So this is a really cool caddy. You do this for picnics. You could do it for craft supplies, which might be what I use it for. I could paint it up and do something with my Cricut and uh, that's really cute. I love it. Wow, 99 cents. So that's what I noticed too about that store, Bibles for Missions. Their wood things are very well priced, which is great because a lot of times I'm just buying them to, and like I have to put a lot of work into them. So it's great that the prices are so low. Thank you, Deb, and to the staff. Oops, I bumped the camera. Thank you to the staff of Bibles for Missions. Um, that was very fun. I actually went back uh, this week, Friday, with my friend Kate, we were there for a little bit. So I love that shop. It's becoming one of my favorites because their prices are so reasonable. All right, let me clean up and I will move to the next package. Okay, this next package got sent out a while ago, apparently, and then something happened at the post office, long story, but uh, it finally found its way here, Elaine. This is from Elaine, and let me see where Elaine is without showing her address. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, it must've been on the other package. That's okay. All right, so here we go, Elaine, and some old looking Christmas cards. I love these. Oh, she wrote me one. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, this is so late, Elaine. Merry Christmas. I've been watching your channel for some time. Oh, she's so sweet. 
I do love kitschy things. <laughs> and she is moving, so. All right. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. I've never seen these. Holly Hobby canister. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's the blue bonnet. So that is what my, I've limited my collection to blue bonnet Holly Hobby. Oh my gosh. I've never, ever seen these before. Oh, I love it. I love it. I will be putting this in my craft room once I get it back. Oh, and she said, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, this will go into my Christmas decor. <gasps> and a little red truck tag. Oh, Elaine, I'm so sorry I didn't have these to incorporate into my decor this year. They are so cute. Now, now I need to see if she made them. I didn't want to read the whole thing on camera, but let's see. Uh, I came across something I thought you would enjoy. Plus, she made some. Good. Aw, oh, I love them. Thank you so much, Elaine. I will definitely be putting them into my Christmas uh, tub so I can decorate with them next year. And I might need my little knife to get into this one. Oh! <gasps> Did she make this too? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, it came out. Oh man, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, it's a pickup truck, which I love. I'm going to have a pickup truck someday. That is my dream. And look at these teeny tiny pumpkins. It's a pickup truck full of pumpkins. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I think you can switch it. I think that's the idea here is that you can switch it to a little tr uh, tree. Oh my gosh, so adorable, Elaine. I love these, thank you. Those I'm gonna put right over in my drawers over there so that they don't get lost because they're so teeny tiny. I don't want them to get lost. Oh man, I love these things so much. Thank you, Elaine. What's up, Han? Fruity Pebbles. Okay, now this package I also picked up on the same day, which was like a week ago. And it says December 2nd. I don't understand. It's January, but I picked them all up at the same time. So that doesn't make any sense. Maybe they, maybe some of my packages got misplaced. I don't know. I think my angle is weird here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open some Christmas presents. This is from a YouTube channel called Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Uh, okay. Wait. Open last if you don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. Feel free to read out loud on camera if you like. Okay. So I'm not going to open the card yet. I'm really sorry that these that I didn't get these before Christmas. That's so weird. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, decals. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Now I'm, I'm making a face because it's like, I guess you want to keep these in the package because that's what keeps them valuable, but I kind of want to use them too, you know? Hm. Oh, these are so cool. I won't use them. I'll probably keep them in the package in a flower frog. Maybe that would oh, be adorable. Thank you. Okay, so Mimi's Treasure Cottage, I can link her in my description box below. Um, her name is Cindy. Great channel. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all these things. Ah, my collection is growing. Oh, look at my little, my little Holly Hobby tin. I'm gonna put these right in here so they all wind up in the collection, not somewhere weird. It's all Holly Hobby. And things I don't have. And I always think I have a lot. I have a big picture with this same graphic, but I don't have this one. Oh my gosh. So cute. Now, what do you think I'm going to put in here? Boxwood? Anybody? <laughs> someone, uh, that's too little. I'll need a bigger piece. But someone in my comments the other day, she's like, you really like boxwood. I was like, I do. It's true. <laughs> I do really like boxwood. Ooh, cute blocks for my collection for my crafting those will not go in my holly hobby bin those will go in my crafting stuff i never had any of these as a child this is so cute okay so what is it for what do you think that's for hmm oh man these are so cute no a mug? I, I don't I do not have a mug. Oh, this is newer, so I don't have to feel bad about using it. This is from 2002. So cute. Oh my gosh, and it's a four-finger mug. 
Always good when you can get more than two fingers in a mug. So that is not going in my collection. That's going in my mugs. I'm gonna use that for coffee. I'm super excited. I do not have a single Holly Hobby mug. Now let's see what Cindy said. I am so sorry that this did not come to me till January, but it says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I really enjoy your channel. It's always fun. Oh, thank you. Mug decals and napkins are all from her parents' estate. That's so cool. What? Her mom loved Holly Hobby. Aw, thank you. You are so sweet, Cindy. And wait, I saw your card. And this is Cindy's, um, let's see, I just wanna make sure it's nothing private. Nope, this is Cindy's business information. And she also has a YouTube channel, which I will link in my description box. Thank you, Cindy, I love these so much. So after my video, go ahead and check her out and tell her I sent you. That would be great. Okay, so this is another older one. I don't know how that happened. How did I pick up, this one was shipped January 19th. This was was shipped December 15th and I got them from the post office on the same day. That does not make any sense. This is the cutest card ever. I'm not gonna read the card out loud, but I save my cards and I make tags and things out of them. So that will be a great one to use. Okay. These are a few of her personal, oh, she said, don't read out loud. Okay. I will not read that out loud. <gasps> what? I have one of these. He came with a sled. I can put this with him. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Okay. Aw, 1997. That's the year I got married. Cool. This was our first Christmas as a married couple. That's so cool. This is really cute. So when it's, it's an ornament, but it looks like you can clip it on a light. Let me read about it. Yeah, clip-on attachment for optional decorative lighting effect. And then I guess the light shines through. That is very cool. Okay. Oh, what? I do not have one of these. Oh my goodness. This will go great with my Santas that look similar. They're like from the 30s or 40s. Love it. Okay, I'm tweaking because I see a lot of Christmas. You know I love vintage Christmas. Oh, this is what I was talking about. I don't have one in a sled. This is from the 50s. Wait, okay, wait. Let me read what she's saying. Broken off piece of the red guidelines from corner of sled to first ranger is in Santa's bag. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I see. Here we go. So this is something that needs to be reattached. I'm going to put it back in Santa's bag for now, but look at this. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. Look, don't these look great together? Yeah, so it's not the 30s or 40s, it's the 50s. Perfect. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, love it so much. Ah! <laughs> I love vintage Christmas. Ooh, another sled, uh-oh, there's another piece of this. I wonder if this is another, this is probably goes with that other Santa. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see, okay. Hold on. So these, oops. oh man, I don't want to drop them, but basically the basic idea I think is that these go with this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it, I will treasure them and take good care of them. I may or may not ever glue them. I'm, I, I, I'm terrible about that kind of stuff, but. <laughs> oh, this is great for my window. You know, I love to hang stained glass in my window in the kitchen. I love this so much. Oh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh. I don't really have a great Christmas one, so this is awesome. I have a Santa that I just found, but it looks newer. This is clearly older, you can, you can just tell. Oh my gosh, I love it. And look at this tray. This is adorable. So cute. Oh, I love these so much. I think I, I think it says Mary. Yeah, this is from Mary. That's all that I'll say. I won't read the note, but I love all of this stuff. And I can't wait till next Christmas to use it all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And this one is from Linda. Linda. Ooh, oh, Valentine's Day. It's a good thing I opened it today. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I thought it was going to be like one bigger thing, but it's a lot of little things. Okay. So let's open the Valentine's Day things first. I keep my Valentine's Day decor out for the next week just because it's fun. This is adorable. Holy cow, this is so cute. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. I will be putting this in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> no, what? And Robin Johnson, I just learned how to do this kind of embroidery on one of her videos. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's so cute. And I'm gonna keep this handy because I can also use this for 4th of July. I've decided I'm gonna put hooks probably in my dining room or on my, I think in my dining room so I can actually display some of my vintage aprons for like the season, you know, for the like the proper colors for the season. I think that'd be really cute. So, oh my gosh, I love these. Thank you. Ooh, Christmas postcard for one. Oh, I love old postcards. Oh man, this is very cool. There's no year on it. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to make it. I was reading the back. So cool, oh my gosh. I love that it has robins on it, very cute. All right, so that goes with my Christmas stuff. Yes, DIY projects. These are cute. They're just to use in, just in decor, these are adorable. They're hearth in hand. These are so cute, I really like those. So maybe for decor, I mean, excuse me, maybe for DIYs, but maybe I'll just keep them like that and use them in displays. They're really cute. <gasps> Holly Hobby embroidery. So is this patterns? Fun. These are transfers for, well, let me just show you. For my Holly Hobby collection, love it. And it's blue. I'm gonna put it right into, and they're transfers for embroidery. So I could actually, put it on like a dishcloth or, you know, a pillowcase. I'm putting all my, all of my little Holly Hobby treasures into my Holly Hobby tin. So they don't get lost before I get them down to my collection. My collection is currently in my bedroom because it belongs in my craft room, but you know, Maddie's living in my craft room right now. So, <gasps> oh, this is so cool. The Humane Society thrift shop. <gasps> Very cool. She said she got this at her favorite thrift shop. Absolutely, I will definitely put this into my decor. Oh my gosh, you know, I just stack boxes. I had a stack here, so very cool. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna keep the note on it so I remember next year and I can think about her again. Ooh, I think I know what this is. <gasps> yes, bottle brush tree, love. Oh, and I'm gonna save this tissue paper. Look at this, this would be great in a DIY. And it doesn't matter if it gets wrinkled because when you're decoupaging, it gets wrinkled anyway. So that is going into my crafting stuff. Ooh, these are cute for crafting. Little bunny on, I don't have anything like this. Bunnies on burlap, that's adorable and very country, which is just up my alley. Okay, and I have one more package. This one is from Sonia. And there is no date on this, so I don't know if this was sent a long time ago or recently, but I got it on the same date in January. And I got the others. Oh, that is a cute card. Oh man, that's adorable. I might put that into a DIY. <laughs> she said she found out, she found whatever I'm gonna open when she was out thrifting and knew that I needed it. <laughs> I love that. You guys are spoiling me. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that. It's a little Holly Hobby, blue Holly Hobby doll, but like uh, it's an ornament, I guess. That's so cute. So this side is cardboard, like a printout, and this is like fabric. Oh my gosh, adorable. I love it so much. So, all right, let me put that into my tin with my other Holly Hobby things. All right, so we got to the end of the friend mail. Thank you so much for all of these gifts. Thanks for watching my haul and coming thrifting with me. I hope this was enjoyable to you. Please stay safe and warm, especially you Southerners who are getting weird weather that you might not have jackets for. You definitely need to bundle up and maybe stay home. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.